All right, let's take this across now to Mr. Sana Edemaruku, President of the Rationalist International, who's joining us this evening. Mr. Edemaruku, thank you for speaking to us here on India Today. You're from Kerala, sir. So explain to us, uh, are these kind of, you know, beliefs and tantric activities common in the state among the people? Yeah, at one side, Kerala is very progressive, but on the other side, we have all kinds of occult, occult beliefs very popular in Kerala and the newspapers and some of the magazines advertise these kind of uh, psychics and occults and invite people for all the solutions. And this is not at all stopped. In Kerala, there have been an effort to make a law, an anti-superstition law, and a bill was prepared, as a, a private bill was prepared, but mm -hmm. it's in the cold storage. And these kind of advertisements are so popular and practices are going on everywhere and there is no effort from the state side to stop this. This is not a question of the present, but in Kerala, the kind of beliefs that, that are reaching to this stage have been existing for a long time and there, there should be some effort to interfere into the, the whole effort of promoting it and encouraging it through newspaper advertisements or now by, uh, I mean, social media. Mm. The, especially in this case, we have seen that the whole thing was campaigned through a Facebook post and people were invited for your welfare, contact us. There is no kind of monitoring about these kind of things. There is no way that we can stop it. So an immediate interference to uh, enact the anti-superstition law is the most important thing at this moment. So you believe that the onus is also, uh, Mr. Edmarco, on the government to ensure that some sort of a legislation is brought about to stop these kind of practices because the belief is very, very strong in Kerala. Yeah, the belief is there. A lot of people believe in these kind of uh, magical uh, um, Brussels with the uh, tundra or shamans and all these kind of beliefs are there. Like in any other state, the whole problem is, I mean, there should be a monitoring. There, there are people who are believing, who are indoctrinated, who are vulnerable. but. There are people who are selling these kind of products and they are easily reaching these people. And that's the point where we have to have an interference from the state to stop it. It's at one side we need public education. We need a kind of, a, a kind of a, a movement that is going on, which is very active in Kerala. Kerala has a very active rationalist movement. But on the side of the state, we need support that law and enactment of this law, I mean, should come into real effect. You know, you highlighted at the very beginning the contrast that everyone's been speaking about in Kerala, about the state being so progressive uh, with such a high literacy rate. And despite that, you see these kind of incidents and so much of strong beliefs. Where does this come from? What is the origin of this kind of belief, Mr. Edemaraku? And if you could share some of your personal experiences of what kind of faith these people really have in these practices. There are, there are three different patterns of uh, occult belief. And most of many, many people think that this is only for thinking that, I mean, they get welfare or they get money that they do black magic. In fact, there are three varieties of black magic. One is Vashikaran, which is trying to attract the other people. The other is destruction of your enemy. Third is looking for welfare. All the three patterns are popular, and these are getting more and more indoctrinated into children because there are a lot of uh, stories around, there are a lot of legends around, but and we speak about scientific temperament, there is no way that this kind of uh, indoctrination can be stopped at this moment. So therefore, an anti-superstition law at one side and strict enactment of stopping all these superstitions and religious education in the schools, that's what is important. This, this has a long root of tradition of Tantra tradition in Kerala. Hall of Sakhi okay. has a big tradition of Tantra. Five months back, there was another I mean, uh, sacrifice, a mother has been sacrificing a girl. And uh, mm -hmm. I mean, and in Andhra Pradesh, you know that, I mean, some months back, I mean, a mother has killed another two children. All, all these kind of practices are very prevalent in the southern part of India.